But if you're like me, and you don't like people hearing you talk uh, through your microphone whilst you're playing Storm 4 on PC, my microphone doesn't have a mute button on it, and Storm 4 doesn't have an option to turn off voice chat. So I'm going to show you how to set up a virtual microphone that you can mute uh, without affecting your actual microphone. So people can still hear you on Discord or on Skype, um, but no one can hear you in your game. And it also won't affect any other uh, programs on your computer. So first things first, you want to get a virtual microphone, such as Voice Meter Banana. This is what we're going to be using for the tutorial. Uh, you go ahead and install it from here. I've already got it downloaded and installed, so go through the installer, you just hit the install button. It will ask you to restart your computer, go ahead and do that. And this is what it will look like. Start up. Now, this is a really useful program. You can do a lot of different things with it. I'm just going to show you the simplest way that I know to get it to work the way I need it to. So, first things first, I'm going to go into the menu. But also restart on and system tray run at start. That way it'll start up when I start my computer and also if it ever crashes it will restart itself. Next, click the A1 and you want to choose voice meter input, BB audio virtual cable. This just means I won't hear myself talk when I uh, add my microphone. Next, I add my microphone, just click on input device here, hit blue snowball, or my, my microphone's a snoop, blue snowball, your, your mic will be different. You see by here, my microphone's been added. Next, you want to switch it from B1 to B2. Um, this just uh, make sure that there's no uh, background noise in the microphone should you choose to use, use it in game. Next, you want to go to your sound settings. And if you're on Windows 10, this is what it'll look like. Otherwise, it'll look like this. You want to change your default input device from your actual microphone, mine is the snowball, to the voice meter aux output, like that. As you can see, it's still picking up my microphone, because it's set up here, but if I hit mute here, it no longer picks up my microphone. So I can now mute and unmute as I please. And um, when I launch Naruto Storm 4, this is the microphone it will be. However, if I don't want to mute myself on Discord whenever I do that, to make sure that Discord is using my microphone and not the program. And most people will have it all set to default. What you're going to do is go in here and specify your microphone. So mine is now the Blue Snowball. You see right here, uh, it's picking up my mic. I'll show you, I'll set it to default. Still pick up my mic. But if I hit mute, no longer picks up my mic. Set that to Blue Snowball. And it'll always pick up my mic now, as if nothing has changed. And just to show you that it does not affect your sound, I have a desktop background here that reacts to music and what have you, so I'll play some music. As you can see, the bars are showing up. Close that now. So, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. It's not the only way you can do it. Um, it's just the way that I know how to do it and one that most people will be able to do. If you do have any questions or know of an easier or even better way to do this, just let me know. I do read all my comments. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> please, if you play online, use this because this still means that I can hear other people. It just means that they won't hear me. But if everyone started doing this, then I won't have to hear people who leave their mic on. Okay, so again, any questions or feedback, leave them in the comments. Alright, bye!